guys, Nazira here and you're watching Wrap Up. So in this episode, I'm going to cover the events that happened from the 5th of September to the 9th of September. So the first one is a carousel that just bought over Watch Over Me on the 1st of September. So exactly a month ago, Carousel, they won funding worth about 35 million US dollar. And from that funding, uh, they bought over Watch Over Me's engineering and also product teams. If you're not familiar with Watch Over Me, it is a personal safety app created by a startup based in Malaysia. It helps you to basically track your journey uh, by pre-selecting people on your contact list on your mobile and those people can track you wherever you are. The financial details of the deal remain undisclosed. However, the CEO who is also the co-founder of Carousel, Sui Rui Quack, he wants to double up his tag team. So right now they have about 23 people and they plan to double it up to about 50 people by the end of the year. So good luck with that. Second, we have Smart Byte that have just won funding from Marta Capital, uh, Noodles Digital, Rombus, Rombus Food Holding, and also from a private angel investor. Smart Bite models aim to create convenience to all these working professionals uh, to get their lunch from their favorite restaurant, and this is based from their quality, proximity, as well as variety. With this technology platform, they plan to penetrate to the Southeast Asia region within the five years. So all the best, Smart Bite. Third, we have Chinese Nyamberhad and also um, Tune Talks Nyamberhad who are partnering to revolutionize the way to increase business traffic. The joint effort will leverage on the cutting-edge technology provided by both companies and will create seamless environment for mobile use customers to interact with their merchants. If you're not familiar with what gamification is, it is basically adding game elements into a non-game environment. So it's a new thing nowadays. Fourth, we have Suhati in conjunction with Panko Dialogue 2016. On the 4th of September, more than 1,000 participants have joined Suhati program. It is the first program organized by Magic in conjunction with the Panko Dialogue 2016. Magic CEO Ashran Ghazi mentioned that this Sahati program is a flagship initiative by Magic to educate local communities on the opportunities and benefits of social entrepreneurs as well as encourage participants in the movement at a state level. Participants would focus on four learning key points, namely, first, the definition of social entrepreneurship, second, common misconceptions, third, five common business models, and lastly, the challenges and opportunities for the movement in Malaysia. On the 7th of September, we have uh, Magic and also the Perak State Government uh, through its agency K Perak, they signed an MOU to develop a strategic roadmap to promote and encourage entrepreneurship development in the state of Perak. The partnership aims to transform the state of Perak into the next entrepreneurship hub in Malaysia. And lastly, I'm going to end it with good news. So now we have a startup that delivers food with only one ringgit service charge. So Mobile Waiter, it is basically a food delivery platform that provides uh, delivery from restaurants, hawker stalls, anywhere you want it to be, to your doorstep and they only charge one ringgit for the service. So you know how there's a lot of startups that charge more than three ringgit, some are charging five ringgit and above for just delivery services. Now you only have one ringgit service from Mobile Waiter. But I bet you guys are wondering how are they going to sustain your business with only one ringgit charge? Well, obviously they get sales cut from these restaurants and all these stalls that they get their food from. So that's another way of doing your business model. So that's it guys for this week's wrap up. Uh, do check out for more videos on YouTube channel as well as the website at www.cradletv.my.